Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I was sitting here thinking of a song. Uh, I'm not going to sing. I've, I've, I've heard enough of me tonight. Uh, he's not dead. He's alive. And sometimes we treat God, <laughs> or we treat the Lord as if he died and never resurrected. But listen, uh, especially in our situations, uh, this is what came to my mind. Years ago, my mother used to have fainting spells. It's another one of my little stories. My mother had faint, uh, uh, fainting spells. And um, she, I knew it. I knew this now. I was about eight or nine when this happened. My mother was walking through the kitchen. And next thing you know, she was on the floor. And my father, he was about to call the uh, paramedics. Back then, we called them the ambulance. And I was hollering, Mama, Mama, what's wrong? Is she dead? Is she dead? I was losing it. Based on a supposition. Oh, I cried my eyes out. You hear me? I was scared. Now, I knew that my mother had fainting spells. But I had never seen her faint. And when I saw it for the first time, the fainting spell resembled what I thought death would appear to be. So when I saw the fainting and I saw the body laying there, limp, seemingly lifeless. In my mind, I was looking at death. What are you looking at? She came to, they helped her get up, she was fine. But I ask you, what are you looking at? Hmm? What are you Losing it over. What are you crying about? What are you mourning over? Huh? Now, if there hadn't been an adult, I would have called the operator and asked for the ambulance. But while I was waiting for the ambulance, I would have been shaking my mother. Mama, don't die. Oh, mama. Yeah, I mean, I would have been basically counting her out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it is a momentary setback. Sometimes it's a glitch in a situation. Sometimes it is a pimple in our character. And what do we do? We freak as if we are dead. We freak as if it's all over. It's hopeless. There's no more help. Oh, nobody can do anything now. Now, I'm not making fun of you. God knows more than you do how many times I've been there. And it's not funny when it's going on. But as the old folks say, <clears throat> cover up my grave while I say that. As the old folks say, when we look back, we laugh. Because we see the whole picture in retrospect. You know the term that says hindsight is twenty twenty. That's what that means. You have twenty twenty vision when you're looking back. It all makes sense. But boy, when you're going through it, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? That's the way it feels. That is how it feels. Ask me how I know. Now, I'm not making light because I can look back and say that. I don't know what I'm going to say when the things happen in front of me. 
I've been walking with the Lord for 30 some odd years, or I think it's about 36 years now. I'm getting old. <clears throat> But when the trials come, they never cease to throw you for some reason. I mean, I don't care how experienced we are. We are never ready, are we? Never ready. It is the most bizarre thing. As convinced as we should be, we are not. <laughs> yeah. I have to ask the Lord to forgive me a lot of times. Well, be encouraged. God is not done. He has not fallen asleep on the job. He will not let you fall. He will not let you fall. He is never weary, and he will not let you fall. He'll carry you, baby. You will never get too heavy for him. Your situation might be too heavy for you, so you give it to him. You, Lord, you carry him. Yeah. But he will not let you fall. Now, <clears throat> lecture is over. trying to turn it off.